Hey everyone, this is Sohini from Double Lab, and in today's tutorial, we're gonna cover the integration process. So I guess in the previous tutorial, we learned how to create a Firebase real-time database, and we, we learned how to create a structure in it. But in this video, we would link it up with an Alexa skill to pass an input through our Alexa skill and see it in real time in our database. To get started, I think we need to navigate to our Firebase console and this is it. So once we're in this, we're gonna hit on mood list. Um, so I think this was our project and we would go to real time database. So this was the um, database that we created. This is the structure, this is how it'll look like. So once we um, bind this up, this database with our Alexa skill, and once we send our moods, they're going to be coming up in the same format, but with different date and different time. So that's it. So to begin, I have created a template for this already so that you just don't need to write loads of code. So you can navigate to skilltemplates.com and hit on this. So this is our one click deployer and we'll hit on start. So this is going to take some time, so by the time it gets deployed, I would fast forward this part and once it's done, then I'll move next. Okay, and that's it, it's done. So if you go to your Alexa developer console, you'd be able to see the template. So this is our template and we would open this and I would change the invocation name to... Um, let's say mood recorder that's gonna be our skill name so now I'm gonna build this and it's gonna take some time by the time this gets built we'll open the code tab and now turn off these cool templates.com and this is our skill code so the first thing that we're gonna do is navigate to our index.js which is this and the only thing that we need to change in this entire thing is just the configuration keys. So where do we get those? So we're going to go to our database and we will open this, go to project settings and we would, yes. So here is it. So we're going to hit on config because these are not for us. Um, this is if you're using you can use this as well. This is for JavaScript. And this is, let's say, you're, you're, you want to import stuff, then you can use this. Um, so that totally depends. So I would use this. This is what we need. So I would just copy this part. And I would just replace everything that's inside of this. And I would hit on deploy. So now this is getting deployed. So by the time it gets deployed, let me walk you through the code. So what I've done is the very first thing is I've included this package, this one, it's very essential. The rest of the tree is not needed, but I just did those because I was falling into errors and I wanted to understand if it was for the packages, but it was not for the packages. Um, so you just don't need these, but you can keep these if you're trying to do something else um, for the other functions or tools. Um, you can use these. So the next thing that I did was I went to I went to index.js and I just um, imported these. This is important. If you don't um, do this, then you're going to fall into trouble. This is not going to work. So you have to mandatorily have Firebase slash app required. Then you need to have all the configuration details from your Firebase database and here I have initialized it and then in the launch request handler I haven't done anything else apart from just a simple um, speak output and th that's just the launch phrase and inside of the input intent handler I've done the rest of the operation so this is the part where I have done all the input stuff this is a uh, place where our data is getting passed through so um, I think, yeah, that's that's in short. And this is the part where we have the slot. So this slot is capturing all your moods and setting it 
inside of your database. So, so yeah, that's all. And this is just a small explanation of how I did it. To learn more about it, you can check out my live stream that I've done on this. Um, it includes a very nice detailed explanation of all the things that I've done for this template. Um, you can find the link below in the description and you can watch that to understand how this thing is working. So I guess, yeah, that's it. So I've also deployed it. Now I would go ahead on the test tab and I would turn this to development. Cool, cool. So now I would go inside of this and I will open real-time database. All right, so let's get started with the demo. Alexa, open mood recorder. Welcome. You can record your mood right now. For example, say add cool. Add happy. Great. That made me happy too. Added this. Add okay. That's good to hear. I've added this mood to the list. Add romantic. Wow. I'm so glad to hear that. Add calm. That's good to hear. I've added this mood to the list. Alexa, stop. Goodbye. Yeah. So I guess um, that's how the data keeps popping up in real time. So yeah, and I guess uh, the time format isn't as per my local time. So this was just a short example of like you can pass in time as well so this time would be the so this this is more like a skill this template i've made it in that manner so that each of your moods get recorded with respect to that time so that you can have a track of your moods in a day or let's say day to day and, and you can also manipulate this template to great skill because i think it's almost in the format of a skill like a mood recorder so I think um, that's the example I wanted to share with you in this tutorial. I believe this was helpful. If it was, you can tell me about your experience on the comments below. If you have any questions, you can ask me that as well. Um, and also, if you like these tutorials, this one and the previous one, do not forget to hit a like and subscribe and share this with your friends. Um, I will see you soon in the next tutorial. Till then, have a great time. Bye.